There was one F-16 guy, I should never forget, he was interviewed by somebody on French television. And this chap was in a state of mild shock having uh, seen this manoeuvre done. And he was an honest guy as well. And I should never forget, the TV interviewer said to him, what would you do if you found yourself in close combat with that guy? And he said, eject. And I thought, well, what a sensible guy. Some people, when they watch the Cobra manoeuvre, of course, they are, they are not so much impressed by the sort of things that I am amazed by. The stability of the thing, the, uh, the routineness of it, the fact that they are confident to do it at a low level. They just don't understand how it does it. You know, they think, well, how can he do that with an airplane? Well, the answer is it's the easiest thing in the world to fly an aircraft along straight and level, suddenly pull the control column back, tilt up the elevator or tailplane at the back end, generate an enormous downforce aerodynamically on the back, the nose goes up, you know. Um, goes up when you're sitting in it and looking at it, goes up when you're sitting in the, in the stands and watching it fly. In fact, the nose doesn't go up, the tail goes down, because that's where the force is applied. But I mean, we're, we're nitpicking here. What is tricky is allowing the nose to go up more than about 30 degrees. Because that is the point at which an ordinary wing stalls. All the airflow, which was smooth and streamlined and going about its ordered business, breaks down into a series of vortices, and in generally a mess. If you persist in that, and you could do with any airplane, you could persist with a Harrier, you could persist with the Tornado, an F-15, anything like that. If you persist, you will now generate asymmetric disturbances. Your aeroplane will no longer remain symmetric because the flow is broken down into a load of disorganized rubbish. And inevitably, that means that the nose will move to one side and the wing will roll down. This means that you finish up with more lift on one side than the other and the aircraft goes out of control. The, the trick with the with entering the Cobra is to have an aeroplane which despite this very high angle of attack remains totally symmetric left and right with its airflow pattern.